Alright guys, welcome. Originally set for 2017, delayed until 2018, but 100% worth the wait. I think everyone remembers the first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. We've all no doubt gone back and done it again. I absolutely love this game, but there are some things during the second or third playthrough that I wish I knew in the first. So guys, here we go with 20 things I wish I knew during my first ever playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 1 Hold menu button for quick map, hold B for quick return. Number 2 Perform camp chores for quick experience points. This includes chopping wood, delivering supplies to Pearson's wagon, feeding the horses, and helping out with the camp's water supply. Number 3 Double tap LB or L1 for a spinning gun animation. Number 4 Use binoculars to track game from a distance. This technique can be pretty handy for spotting quality pelts. Number 5 Use the lasso to obtain that perfect 3 star pelt. Number 6. Equip any pocket watch you find or purchase for an inventory animation. Number 7. When stuck out in the wilderness, hitch a ride back to town. Hey there. Moment, please. And who might you be? Any chance of a ride to town? You got it. Come on up. Thanks, mister. Thanks for the ride, partner. More nothing. Number eight. Use the new quick draw dead eye system at any time in the open world. See how good you really are. Well, let's get to it then. No! No! And there we go. Number 9. Find this corpse on the beach for a callback to Red Dead Redemption 1. Well, actually, on point of order, it doesn't, but let's not get lost in semantics. Number 10. Use the directional controller to dictate which side of the horse you dismount from. Number 11. Rest anywhere in the open world for core restoration. This can also be used to set up a camp or craft supplies. Number 12. Equip gun wraps to slow down deterioration or simply just clean your weapons. Number 13. 
number 13. Antagonize fellow gang members for a special cutscene. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. I remember when you were Duchess number one, Miss Grimshaw. I don't like that tone, Arthur. How was the vacation, Marston? I could say the same about you. Sitting around. I what said stop! With me? Number 14. So you got Sits chimneys at we'll multiple cash. locations this for a hidden stash. In the chimney. I'll check it. At least you got something tucked away. Number 15. Pleasant greetings to pedestrians will upgrade for a better reputation. Okay there. Hey, mister. Morning. You know, there's something about this place. I've heard the same thing. Morning to you. Mister. Morning. Number 16. Hitch your horse on any open ground instead of using a hitching post. Number 17. Pick up hunting posters early on in the game for quick cash earnings. I found this one in Valentine. Number 18. If you haven't reached the point in the story where you get the fishing rod, use a bow and arrow. Number 19. With the lasso equipped, take down anyone with just one button press. And finally, number 20. Helping specific NPCs can sometimes pay off pretty well. Here's an example. What's with the holler? Oh, I got bit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I need medicine. Hey, Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. Fitter outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. All right, so there you have it. 20 things I wish I knew during my first ever playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Guys, I've got a few ideas there for a second video. Uh, if you feel I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate all the feedback. But anyway, guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed it. Currently working on ideas for episode 3 of Facts with Philby. Help me out if you can. But at the end of it, I'll see you in the next one.